Hi, this is Dan from IFM. Today you will see a video with step-by-step -step instructions of how to set up the communication parameters into the IFM service tool. One of the requirements is to have internet connection. I'm connected to the internet without using a VPN and without using a proxy server either. If you do have a proxy server, then you'll have to configure this into the service tool. So I'll start my service tool. I'm using version 10303. And first of all, under options settings, click on communication settings. And here we'll have to choose our gateway device. Since I'm using an IFM modem, it has an IFM part number. In my case, CR3112. If we do use a modem from the company RM, then perhaps we'll have a different part number. You'll have to know the system access, which is the Proemino username and a password. And of course, you'll have to know the machine IMA number. Um, there is an easy way to find out if you don't know it, just click on this little arrow, find your GSM devices. So as long as the username, password is correct, and as long as you have an internet connection, you should be able to see a list of all devices accessible with this uh, username and a password. In my case, I'll see all the devices from the IFM colleagues around the world. go so looking for my one it's called ifm underscore au on the right hand side here you see the status of the devices if uh, there are three blue dots it means the device is online like in my case and yes you get also a bit of more information like latitude and longitude and i may number we're after so click ok you can see now this field has automatically populated one more thing to be done view expert we need to be careful on this timer, and this is basically the timeout on the device protocol as well as an application protocol. Uh, this particular settings here work very well for me. Uh, if, however, the timeout is uh, lower than these settings, you might not be given a modem enough time to connect, and you might get an error. Okay. Or just click OK. And now I'm just going to open an existing dashboard file created a while ago. So my dashboard file has three tabs, main, data one, and dashboard. As long as the communications are correct here, settings, we will, should be able just to go online by uh, click connect. It takes about 20 to 30 seconds to connect it all depends of your internet connection, I guess. We can uh, see a bit of a status. While this is connected, I would like to let you know that you need to let the service tool through the Windows firewall. Usually first time you install it and start the service tool, it will ask you, the Windows firewall it will ask you to keep blocking or unblock. So if you don't have administrate right on your computer, you might have a problem. There you go. Data is coming over. I can see the humidity and the temperature on my sensors. I can show you I can turn on and off some lights, which basically I'm controlling the machine now. I can also see if I can uh, ramp up the fan a bit. And yes, it's working. Thank you very much. And uh, always don't forget to disconnect before you close the service tool. Wish you a good day.